Good morning, glad tidings, and welcome back to Church Online. I hope you're doing good. And you know what? See, if you're not doing good, I really hope that you've been speaking to somebody um, and just being real with them, not bottling it all up. And well, let's be honest, you know, it's not just good to talk. It's important to talk regular with someone and just to be real with them, like I was saying, because life at the moment is still very different. We're desperate for life to return to normal and we're wondering if it ever will. Like, is this the new normal that we talked about? I really hope not. This uncertainty is no way to live. However, we all have our own different views and thoughts on what is still our current situation. And that, I suppose, leads me on to the fact that we're still doing this. We're still waiting on our big steel staircase to be finished and delivered. Then we can look to building control and have this entire place signed off. I know it's been a long wait. <laughs> Thankfully, we know a thing or two about waiting. As it seems that things in production of, well, a lot of things are just slow and stop. Now, we have been ploughing along with the final furnishings and the AV production install. However, even in the sound and lighting world, there are things that we need that are just not being built right now and delivery cannot be guaranteed. And I know personally for that industry, some items that I know friends of mine need for other jobs and I'm told fairly normal items, the delivery is being predicted for those items to them at April 2022. Is this the new normal we talked about? I hope not. One thing is for sure is that things are still uncertain. Even if we had this building open right now, what exactly could we offer you on a Sunday? How many of you could actually attend a service? Would we have to have multiple services? Would we have to turn people away at the door? Get our worship team to stay and play all over again for another service? Would you have to be wearing masks if you wanted to come in and sing? I mean, if our church service was over a certain number, I'm told we would actually need to see proof of vaccination before you could enter the building. And what about a cup of tea afterwards? These are genuine concerns that churches have been facing from June 2020. And now as leaders, it's our turn to think and to talk about what restrictions, if any, we need or want to lay down for your safety. Is this the new normal? I hope not. So in every setback we have here, I try and see the positive and that's what gets me through the days and the weeks that I spend down here. You see, I know and I trust in what Jesus said to me 11 months ago regarding a year in seasons. So I'll stand on that truth no matter what the world throws at us. I've said it from the very start of this current situation that if your relationship with Jesus is based on a 60 minute Sunday service, you have bigger problems. Our church, just like your relationship with Jesus, is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 12 months a year, and God willing, many more years to come serving the community through our love for Carrick Fergus. On Sundays, yes, we come together for a service, but our church goes way beyond Sunday services. We do have a love for Carrick Fergus, and just because our Sunday services aren't up and running doesn't mean for the past 90 weeks that our church has stopped. As soon as we could, we had the Open Door Centre opened again. When it was safe to, we brought all the ministries back together again. And even when times were tough, even when restrictions were tight and things were very, maybe extremely uncertain, some of our teams were still operating, helping and making sure families were safe, taking care of their shopping needs, phone calls and having doorstep visits. Church didn't stop. It was just the in-person services that stopped. But now we're getting ready for the return of in-person services in our brand new building. Now, again, as we assess the current situation, 
It also leaves the question to be asked about Christmas services. So, I guess this is as good a time as any to answer those questions. As much as we hope for and conversations were had in this very room about the worship team coming back together and going straight into carol service prep, that sadly won't be happening. Again, due to the fact that we're not able to be in the building and again how many of you could actually attend a carol service then how many carol services will we need to have and is it actually wise of us to bring you all together right now whilst whilst things are up in the air once again so unfortunately this year there will be no carol service in person or online we will be placing content for you to enjoy over the Christmas and New Year season. And you can access all that through the usual weekly email and on our Facebook. I'll be taking some time as I do to go and talk to the Lord and to listen to him and see his heart for us as we enter into a new year. And I will bring that all to you. And maybe, who knows, that'll be part of our first in-person services. There will also be something going out on, uh, basically following the new year on Sunday the 2nd, I believe. I say something as this will entail someone to actually come in over the Christmas holiday with something that they have prepared. Then they will have to get it recorded. Then somebody will need to edit that video and then upload it. Now, you'd be surprised how long all that actually takes. Is this the new normal? I hope not. So, let me leave you with something positive. We're still on the right track. Things are moving forward. Not everything has came to a complete standstill, thankfully. I mean, how about that community Christmas tree switch on service and the silver band? So good. And even although I might have only gotten two seconds with some of you, even seeing some of you there that night, and I did, believe you me, I saw you there on a cold night, that warmed my heart because I've missed you all. I've spent a long time in this building by myself, pushing forward with the work so that I get to see you again. That's something else that gets me through the days and the weeks down here. Now, you'll get to see me again very soon, hopefully with one of my classic building update videos, probably with the production install and then with the steel staircase outside being put into place. You see, I'm very excited about our future together here, and I know Jesus is too. The enemy, he also knows that. That's why he's trying to slow things down around us. But just like the sun breaking through those stormy clouds outside, Jesus is still working in the background for you and me to secure our future together with him right here at Carrick Fergus Community Church. That is the new normal.